Episode 3 of Evil If starts with someone calling Hyo Yang Ho to tell him that Seo Di Young has been taken care of. He is happy about the news. He says he is heading to the Philippines to lie low and asks the caller to take care of things. Hyo Yang Ho heads to Park J. E.'s house and enters through the front gate. He says he feels nice to not be embarrassed finally. He comes carrying gifts, but his welcome is Je's dead body. Dong Su and BMJ are sitting on the sofa, and he confronts them about Je's death. Seo Do Young suddenly walks in, and the backstory to how he survived the attack plays out. Seo Do Young points a gun at Hyo Yang Ho and remembers how they drugged him using liquid meth, leading to his arrest. Hyo Yang Ho gets on his knees, begging Do Young not to kill him. Do Young cocks the gun, ready to shoot Hyo Yang Ho. Dong Su tries to stop him by telling him about the penalty if he is arrested. He listens but still shoots Yang Ho. Han Dong Su and Han BMJ are terrified. Next, Do Young wants to kill BMJ forcing Dong Su to agree to create an alibi and get him out of the current situation. BMJ and Dong He take care of the bodies, and Du Young establishes exactly that. He is to create an unforgettable situation, making as many people remember him. Dong Su cannot forget the events of the night before and wakes up hoping it is a nightmare. He keeps getting flashes of the dead bodies and is anxious. He goes to BMJ's house planning to take the spy cameras they took from the house to the police. He is fearful that Di Young will never leave them alone. He thinks that the only way out is to get him arrested. BMJ gives Dong Su the footage from the spy camera, and he drives to the police station. He sits outside in his car, conflicted about what to do next when he gets a call from Di Young. He finds him playing with some kids in his neighborhood. Dong Su thinks Do Young came because he knew he went to the police station. However, Do Young came to offer him a job. Even though Dong Su wants Do Young to let him be, Do Young says he likes him and is unwilling to let him go. He gives Dong Su a phone and asks him to pick it up whenever it rings. Do Young tells Dong Su he met his niece Minhi. Afterwards, Do Young goes to the gang's company at Yiziang Myri Consulting. He sees one man who used to work for Du Sik and promotes him to take over Du Sik's position. Hyo Yang Ho's right hand man is against it, and Du Young asks him to beat up the guy if he does not like it. The minion knocks him out. Dong Su goes to pick up Min from Taekwondo school, and the driver tells him that someone else picked her up. He sees Min following a strange man, so he runs after them. The man is Dong Su's new neighbor, Detective Chul Jin. They had previously bumped into each other at the police station. Chul Jin asks Dong Su if he was at the police station to report something. He tells him that many people change their minds because they are threatened and asks if Dong Su is in a difficult position. Dong Su learns that Du Young visited Min Hee and even bought her a doll. He tells BMJ, who is furious and worries they might become Du Young's toys for life. Dong Su plans to report the underground casino and get Du Young arrested. He will then arrange to tie him to the murders and blackmail him to keep him imprisoned longer. However, the locations of the underground casinos change constantly, and their only connection is lost. Dong Su plans to ask Du Young about the location. Dong Su calls Du Young to tell him that he will accept to be his legal advisor on condition that he allows him to inspect all of Du Young's businesses. He knows that Du Young wants to hire him, not just as a lawyer. Du Young agrees and asks to meet the next day. Dong Su dares to ask Du Young to take him to the casino, the house. Du Young tells him that his people will be in contact. Du Young sends Dong Su to the location and asks to meet the next day at 1 p.m. BMJ gets Dong Su a faux phone since the casino confiscates all phones at the entrance. A black van arrives outside the supermarket to pick up Dong Su. BMJ also installs a tracking device and follows Dong Su to Heijong Port. The tracking device does not work when it is above water. The casino is on an isolated island. After looking around, Dong Su pretends to go to the bathroom and runs into the woods. He gets the walkie talkie hidden in his belt and tries to contact BMJ. He tells him the location of the casino. B. 
BMJ calls the police and takes a boat to the island to pick up Dong Su. A siren sounds at the isolated island, indicating the start of a crackdown. Du Young observes Dong Su from a distance before his man comes to take him away. Dong Su runs into the woods, heading to BMJ. He successfully gets to the boat and off the island. Dong Su has no news about the crackdown on Du Young's casino the following morning, and he starts to panic. The episode ends when the phone given by Du Young starts ringing. The caller is Du Young. The episode review Dong Su and BMJ realize that they got involved with a ruthless lunatic who does not care about values and start to panic. Their actions in this episode perfectly embody what a normal person would try to do in their position. They realize they may be in danger and try to save themselves and their families. Their naivety is shown when they devise the plan in their faces after BMJ keeps Dong Su. They think they can easily get a gang boss arrested, and Dong Su sleeps soundly afterwards. The episode is like a prologue of the things to come. Du Young gave Dong Su a chance, but he betrays it. The next episodes will probably be more terrifying for both Dong Su and BMJ. Does Du Young know what Dong Su did? How will he deal with him?